Hey, what's up, everybody? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. Much appreciated if you're a loyal subscriber. If you're a first timer, please hit the subscribe button. We're talking Impact Wrestling news, reviews, interviews, rumors, you name it. Impact Lounge is the number one place to be. Do me a favor, hit like on this video. Let's see if we can get this video up to uh, 75 likes. I would like to get about 100, but let's see if we can do 75. That would be much appreciated. So talking about the Rise Partnership right now. Reason I didn't jump on this news initially it was because I didn't really know what it meant. It wasn't, you know, when the rumors kind of came out that they were, I would even call it rumors, they've been talking about it openly, that they were partnering, didn't really know what it meant. Knew they were getting together to do the the seminar, which I believe was with Scott, Gail, Jimmy Jacobs, and Sanjay. And uh, I'm not as familiar with Rise as I should be. I mean, being a fan of women's wrestling, living in Southern Illinois, a few hours south, um, I wish I was a little more familiar and I'm going to do a better job of getting more familiar. But from what I've really gathered from them so far is that they kind of want to be the next shimmer, you know, maybe even the next shine. But I listen to their weekly podcast uh, with some of the stars. So you can check that out. Uh, listen on Google Play. But I haven't kept as close in the eye on this because I didn't know what it meant. Like I said, now we're starting to get a little more information. And again, I'm, I'm excited for it because they are in Illinois. Um, days like today, I wish I was back home in California because it's cold and rainy has been that way all week. But that is the, besides the point. I've actually, I'm actually liking the partnerships with the indie companies more than no one AAA. And I mean that more from a fan standpoint. When we watch the Impact show, it's exciting to see crossover talent, but it's not really game changing. Nothing really moves the needles in the ratings, you know? But these partnerships make the one night onlys more interesting. I'm already a big fan of the Twitch content. And back when they partnered with Crash, AAA, and Noah, I was saying, you know, this is great for the wrestlers because it's extra paydays and we kind of get some different matches on TV. But how does Impact monetize these partnerships? That was the Jeff Jarrett Global Force Wrestling thing working with different countries. You know what I mean? Now, Impact has put their own spin on it, partnering with these independent promotions and now that they're partnering with them we become familiar with the talent when they upload that stuff to the gwn now now i have a little more interest in it than before when i didn't know who they were so fast forward to the shows with wrestle pro bcw btw destiny world now they're creating we're going to get back to rise here in a second but they're creating mutually beneficial partnerships that allow them to create revenue with ticket sales because they've been selling all these shows out even if they're smaller venues um, they expose up and coming talents to a larger audience and they can scout the future in the process, which is really cool. This formula and this business model. Um, and, and if man, I tell people sometimes if you don't understand this business model, I don't know what to tell you at this point. Cause, uh, I think so, I saw someone on Facebook the other day, like, I don't get it. Are they not capable of running their own shows? Like if, if you, if you're not understanding what they're doing, I'm, I don't know how to really break it down, but, um, I mean, anymore. But this formula and this business model allows the company to have their own form of NXT, so to speak. Um, the one night only in Twitch shows, this is like our NXT. And back when I used to watch that, I used to think that was truly at its best when it was a 100% developmental brand, not what they do now. It was like a crystal ball into the future. And that's something that I really enjoyed. So enter Rise. And the one admirable thing about Rise is that on their social media, they fully support Impact. Some of these other companies they partner with, you'll see them tweet around the time of the live events and things of that nature, but Rise goes all in. And the owner, Kevin Harney, or Harvey, excuse me, coined the phrase, the future of pro wrestling is in collaboration, not competition. And the collaborations have been really exciting, in my opinion because we just continue to see new things and that's what I like. And I made the NXT developmental comparison because this is our opportunity to see the knockouts of tomorrow. So that maybe certain stars when they debut on TV, the, the crowd is a little bit more familiar with them. And one thing I've said about the knockouts in the past, and you can you know use Ava Story for an example, you can use MJ for an example. Can't think of anyone off the bat. Um, but I've said this many times when they have a bring a new knockout in who doesn't already have that strong of a name, it appears that they have struggled how to integrate them into the show. 
Like if they have a name like Taya did, even Hanaya to an extent, you know, when you come in and you, you've already established yourself, established yourself on the independent scene, it's easy for them to come in. But when you're like a brand new knockout, you know, most of the fans are not familiar with you. They have struggled with how do we integrate them? This now, like I said, it's a it's a crystal ball into the future. Maybe this allows that transition to be a lot easier. And when they come on TV, the fans are like, okay, yeah, I know who that is. Because I remember in my WWE fan days, like I remember the excitement of someone getting called up. You know, it would be really cool to have that excitement on Impact too. Using these, you know, smaller companies as a developmental. And I think with these stars getting that extra exposure, the exposure overseas is something that a lot of these wrestlers don't receive, not anything close. So I'm sure it's very much appreciated and hopefully they're building a more loyal soldier when they when they sign someone to that impact contract. If they're someone who is doing the shows in, in BCW and already working with a company and getting that exposure, now they get signed, they get called up, so to speak. Maybe they're more loyal than some of these stars we see in the past who just come in and appear to use the company. So I'm kind of getting off on a tangent regarding these partnerships, but Rise is the one that looks like it, it could be really interesting. And they're doing the show, with, and Sienna's going to be doing color commentary, so that should be really good. Um, it's going to be for Rise's own streaming platform, and they're supposed to be doing content for the GWN as well. And I think they mentioned the Twitch as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get some kind of you know, uh, house shows with them on uh the impact streaming platforms in the future. And maybe when they start doing the knockouts knockdown, maybe they partner with rise to do this and knockouts knockdown has been a really cool pay-per-view or a really good show, but, but you're kind of watching some of the girls and you're like, okay, you know that some of these, okay, I'm going to use Santana and Garrett, for example, you know, she's on the show and, and even Rachel Ellering. Oh yeah, you know this is my next you know opportunity to be a knockout. Like you know that the company is not going to sign them because they probably don't want. They're either good on the independent scene or they're holding out for another company or something like. But there's just certain girls you know most likely where the company was not going to be able to bring in. It's more exciting now if we see a whole cast of girls that they truly are scouting and a whole cast of girls who really truly want to come and be knockouts. Like I think that'll be a lot more interesting because the knockouts knockdown concept is really uh, ahead of its time in my opinion but maybe we do it the right way this time that would be more compelling for the audience and i think they can build better headlines with the show thanks for listening folks hit the subscribe button and i'm out peace